This is John B. with MyTravelTaste.com and Go Fish Magazine. I'm aboard the Carnival Breeze. We're in the North Atlantic and I'm in the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse with Executive Chef Joaquin. And we're going to do pan seared sea bass. And he's going to show you one of the best fish recipes you could ever have on a Carnival cruise. So. Let's take it away from here with our chef and how to prepare this wonderful recipe. Well, I'm preparing a pan seared sea bass with crispy spinach and green pea sauce. So first what I will do is I will make a green pea sauce. To start with the green pea sauce, I'll add a little bit of olive oil. little bit of garlic, some shallots, and when this is on your menu, how many of these dishes will you prepare in one night? One night in the, in the steakhouse, it's around 20 portions. For 20 very lucky people. It's a fine dining restaurant. So we have a lot of other entrees. So we have lobsters, we have uh, filet mignons, we have ribeye steaks, surf and tough. So a little bit wine. A little white wine. Just reduce the white wine. Then what we do after reducing the white wine, we put it in the blender and puree. And after puree, just make sure you have enough seasoning. Just check the salt and pepper. There's the puree pea sauce, all right. And now? Now what I will do, a lemon froth. For the lemon froth, what I will do is now, I'll take some heavy cream. On a very slow temperature, I'll warm it up. Then I'll add some wine. and some lemon juice, squeeze some fresh lemon juice. Some few sprigs uh, from few of uh, lemon and lime zest. Just some salt and pepper. So now this is almost ready. What I will be do during the time of service when we when we place the when the plate is almost ready, we'll froth it with this blender. I'll use this blender during the time of service and we'll make a froth out of it. So I will take it later. So this is the second one. Then I will take now I will cook the sea bus. Sea bus. 
Wonderful pieces of sea bass. white and clarified butter. Before that I'll just marinate the fish with some salt, pepper and some lemon juice. Time, what I will do, I will prepare the plate. So then, finally, when the plate is ready, I'll pick up the sea bus and have it in the plate. So, what I will do now, I have my sauce ready. This is the black olive, grapefruit section, and the orange section. I will take this some fresh spinach, some salt, this with some little bit of lemon juice. bit of olive oil Making sure all sides are yeah, evenly all sides. done. Oh, 
you might see bus through the baby. It's the beetroot crisp and some microgreens on the top. Wow. That's the final dish. That is gorgeous. Shall we taste it? Sure. So now it's time to actually taste this wonderful dish from Chef Shaquem. And he is the executive chef. He just prepared this wonderful dish. Now this is a dish that would be in the Fahrenheit 555 steakhouse, yes, correct? Exactly. So you don't have to eat steak. You can eat fish here. Yeah, sure. But there's a lot of preparation that goes into these dishes. This is five-star dining, the finest dining that you will find anywhere in the North Atlantic or if the ship is in the Pacific or the Mediterranean or wherever it is. But let's try this wonderful sea bass. Get a little puree. Mm. My God, that is so tender. That Thank is you. perfectly done. It's so hard to get a perfectly done piece of fish, but Jaquim has done it. This is absolutely awesome. If you get a chance aboard one of the Carnival cruise ships to go to the fine dining restaurants, I highly suggest that you do. It's worth the little extra price because it is truly amazing food. So thank, thank you, you so much you. for GoFishMagazine.com and MyTravelTaste.com and my wife's great site, My Cruise Stories. My name is John Beef. I hope to see you on the high seas aboard a Carnival cruise ship.